Citizens Journal U.S. working here with CAPS TV tonight, and we're here at the premier event for the At the City Gates Lights in the City event put on by History Makers International. We have here our organizer, Michael Hernandez. Uh, Michael Hernandez is the head of uh, this organization. And he is also the founding editor of Citizens Journal US. Hello, I'm Michael Hernandez, president and founder of History Makers International. My purpose tonight for having this event is to sound out a call for individuals to engage in their community and we are hoping that they can represent Jesus and the gospel in every sphere, every cultural sphere of influence in the community. We're looking for community transformation. So we're looking for individuals to receive their assignment and to walk out in the sphere that they've been called to, engaged in the mission that they have received. The people who are involved in this event are Jewish, are Christians, and those in the community who want to make a difference and to stand up for righteousness, for morality, for values, and of course that's going to include those who have people of faith making a statement. The agenda for tonight is to set the tone by beginning with prayer, because prayer is the key for anything happening. We need to go to God, and then we need to hear back from Him. So we'll begin with prayer. We'll have some worship, a little, a little worship that will extend back up. And then we're going to invite Dr. Marshall Foster, who's the founder of the World History Institute, to share with us about one sphere of cultural influence. That sphere of cultural influence is government and politics. After that, I'll share the vision of the movement, of the campaign. This is just one of monthly events that we're going to be hosting here in Ventura at the Carol's Restaurant the last Thursday of the month at 6.30 p.m. Then we're going to go move into uh, basically small group discussion on how you can engage, how we can engage in the community. We'll wrap it up with uh, report outs and then a closing prayer.